strong relations with the United States of America as a guarantee of our independence. That is why we treat the commitments to overall security of the continent and the world so seriously. But solidarity of all partners is required in the face of serious threats. Therefore, therefore I strongly urge the US Congress to prevent Russia from having a leverage against the EU and NATO members in the form of Nord Stream 2 and introduce further sanctions on the Russian regime. Honorable members of Congress, regardless of what happens in Poland today, do not lose hope. I remain confident that Poland will be back as a strong, proud and democratic member of the transatlantic community. We, the signatories of the Pact of Free Cities, remain committed to uphold the democratic values, protect minorities, fight for tolerance and transparency, and realize the common ambitious goals of the Western community. You know, whatever the government is not doing, we are doing it. We teach tolerance at Porsche schools. We prioritize women's rights. We support independent cultures and, NBO and NGOs. And we seriously fight for climate change, with the climate change. Because that's what the proud citizens of Warsaw and of Poland expect from us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And be assured, uh, we are not